update from the mountains pretty much every year it seems like around about the 20th of August somebody flips a switch and all of a sudden it starts feeling a little bit more autumnal and this year is no exception don't get me wrong when you're in the Sun it's still it's pretty scorching especially down in the valley but it's starting to feel pleasantly cool in the evenings now which is definitely nice plus it's almost cold if you're up early enough in the morning before the Sun comes up so for pretty much the last three or four weeks at least the temperatures barely dropped below 20 degrees C down in the lower valley but now it's almost getting down to single figures again, which is yeah, really pleasant and really refreshing. And the nice clean white snow line has been slowly but surely going further and further up the mountains over the last month or so. But now finally it's starting to come back down again, which is also good to see. But it is only a subtle change. Freezing level is still well above 4,000 meters and it's set to stay that way for at least the next week or two, probably longer. But for a while now, the freezing levels have been touching 5,000 meters. So that's above even the summit of Mont Blanc, which is pretty crazy. And maybe a couple of weeks ago, the, on the Aiguille de Midi, they set a new temperature record of, I think, 17.4 degrees, which is absolutely insane. I don't know if that's from an official, scientifically robust weather station, or it's just their kind of in-house weather station. But either way, it is the, it's whatever they record their temperatures on. So it's a record for them. Whether or not it's an official record or just an unofficial record, it's still crazy, crazy hot. Back to the mountains in a minute, but first, this week it's the UTMB, the Ultra Trail de Mont Blanc, which is the biggest trail running race, indeed, series of races in the world. It's absolutely huge. So, unless you're actually into trail running, this is the week to avoid in Chamonix. If you think it's busy here over Christmas, New Year, or indeed February half term, you haven't seen nothing yet. Chamonix is already pretty much at peak capacity in August anyway, and supplant in another 50,000 people. It's 10,000 runners alone, plus friends, family, support crew, media, event staff, etc, etc, and it's just, yeah, it's an absolute circus, it's insane. You can barely breathe in town, it's so busy, so yeah. Unless you're actually interested in the running itself, don't come this week, wait another week. But at least for those who are running, and who are coming to watch the running, it's actually pretty good conditions. It's still warm, but it's not too hot. So yeah, pretty nice running conditions, really. And as for mountaineering, it's well and truly over now for Mixed. It has been for a while, really, but yeah, it's way too hot, way too dry. All the big Grand Alpine courses, it's over for them as well, pretty much. Maybe the exception of the Jurassic Traverse, but other than that, yeah, the time has come and gone. It's a time for Alpine rock now, really, on good stable rock buttresses such as the self face of the Gita Midi. Anything that's reliant at all on ice or snow or held together by permafrost, stay well clear of it for another few weeks at least now. And to be honest, most of the big routes are done for the season. Wait till next year. So, as I say, conditions are apparently still pretty good on the Jurassic Traverse right now. But as always, the problem is the descent or down on the south side. So people are still doing it, but it's probably going to require a bivy somewhere near the summit. So you're then descending when it's cold early in the morning. Because yeah, you don't want to be descending the south face in the heat of the afternoon. Also, the hut guardian from the show hut keeps raving on about how good the conditions are on the Kassam route and the Walker Spur. So that's also worth a look as well. But again, it's the same problem. You need to descend the south side somewhere, somehow. So yeah. Be careful, but now is probably a reasonably good time to be tempting the north face of Grand Jurassic too. The Drew Traverse is still also seeing action. I did it myself a couple of weeks ago, but rock falls on the approach core are becoming increasingly common and getting bigger and bigger as well, so it's no longer really advised, even though the glacier still passes well and the route itself is still fine, but you've got to get up there somehow. And it's basically a game of Russian roulette. You'll probably be fine, but if a rock fall does come when you're in that core, you've got nowhere to go and it's just dusty blank slabs, so not got much chance of surviving that really. All the rock routes on the south side of the Gita Midi and the east face of Mont Mont Tackle are not surprisingly seeing tons and tons of action. They're all in, well, I mean, they're always, always in good condition really, but yeah, they're all perfectly good right now. The exception being the Trident de Tackle and Chandel de Tackle, which are both being advised against by the La Chaminade in the High Mountain Office because of some fairly major instabilities. Don't know exactly what the instabilities are, but yeah. It's been reported that they're unstable, so basically stay well clear of them. But uh, yeah, everything else is seeing tons of action right now. Mont Blanc is still being done by both the Trois Monts route and the Vois Normal, the Guta route, but they're becoming increasingly dangerous and increasingly more difficult now. Crevasses are opening up and getting wider and wider, snow bridges are getting narrower and weaker, and there's still instabilities, especially on the flanks of Mont Blanc to tackle. 
that big serac fall that came down the other day you can still see fresh debris streaks even now so yeah stuff still coming down stuff still peeling off so still best avoided up there and of course rockfall is an ever-present threat down the grand Couva on the Peter route as well so yeah don't expect an easy ride at Mont Blanc this time of year a couple of days ago there was a fairly major rockfall down the left side of the triangle to tackle as well now the triangle to tackle traditionally has been probably the most reliable mixed climbing location in the Alps but even that's not immune to the heat anymore before a couple of years ago major rockfalls there were pretty much unheard of but now every year they're happening now so well, the routes have been out of condition for a while now anyway but yeah it's best avoided now until temperatures drop again in September or October. So, in summary, this is really not a good time to be coming out and climbing in the Chamonix area right now, but if you are adamant to come out here, then it's basically stick to rock routes on big stable rock buttresses. It's been too hot and too dry now to be doing any kind of meaningful alpine routes. But never fear, there's still plenty to be done over in the Swiss Valleys. I mean, the Swiss 4000ers are pretty much always choss anyway, regardless of what the conditions are like, so yeah doesn't make much difference on the especially the easier routes and a lot of 4000s over there whether it's hot and dry or not so yeah plenty of still getting done over in Switzerland indeed one of my friends was on the summit of the Matterhorn this morning I assume he's got down safely I don't actually know but I hope so and another of my friends has been slowly but surely working her way around all the 4000s and she's been getting at least two or three done a week in spite of all this heat in August so yeah there's still plenty to be done so if big alpine grand courses are your thing head to Switzerland yeah, okay, you're not going to be able to do any of the harder, more mixed routes, but you're still going to be able to summit some of the big 4,000 metre peaks, so yeah. All is not lost, all is not over, and autumn's just around the corner as well, and things will slowly but surely start to stabilise again, and more routes will be climbable again. But for now, as I say, stick to rock, stay safe, and have fun.